let's say that you do this calculation, but what you really want is not this decimal, but instead you want the fraction. To get there, all you've got to do is to click on the math menu over here in the first column, and then you want that convert to fraction, which happens to be the very first choice. So you can hit enter to select that, or you could hit number one. I'm gonna hit enter. And notice how it says answer converted to a fraction. That's exactly what I want, that last answer. And then I hit enter and it gives me that fraction of two thirds. Now this also works to reduce fractions. Let's say that we wanted to reduce the fraction, I don't know, let's say 412 divided by 3,386, right? Whatever this happens to be. Now I can hit enter here and I can get the decimal or I can go ahead and click on that again. I'm gonna arrow up so I've got it selected and then I'm gonna hit enter. This would be the same as typing it in again. And right from here, I'm gonna convert it to a fraction. So I'm gonna click on the math menu and then convert to fraction is the very first choice. We'll hit enter and it's going to give me the answer as a reduced fraction. How super cool is that? This is also a great way to do fraction operations and have your answers result as a fraction. So say we've got two fifths times six fifteenths. I'm just making stuff up. If I hit enter here, I end up with a decimal, but if I do two fifths times that same six fifteenths, and I go right into the math menu and hit enter to select convert to fraction, it will give me that answer as a reduced fraction. We can also type in any decimal, almost any decimal, and it will convert it if it can. It will convert that one to the fractional form. Now your calculator will do its best, but it's impossible to convert every decimal into a fraction. For example, pi, this is an irrational number. If I tried to convert this one to a fraction, math menu, convert to fraction, it's just gonna give me the decimal form back. I've got more for you here.